Alright guys, how's it going? Today we're talking WWE 2K16 as the 2K dev account has given us our very first look at the Divas in action with this short clip of Alicia Fox taking on Naomi as Alicia hits her finisher which I think is called the Overdriver and that is one of the new moves in the game this year. As for the attires, both Divas feature their previous attires from before the Divas revolution began, so there's no Team Bay Day attire for Naomi and no Team Bella attire for Alicia Fox, but with the Create Superstar mode it shouldn't be a problem to update them, especially now we've got 100 slots to save creations. One other thing to note from this footage is that the pin bar doesn't actually fill up until the referee's count gets to 1, and the reason for that is because of the amount of damage that Naomi's taken, so if you find yourself in the red then you'll only get a 2 second window to kick out, which makes things even harder as you'll pretty much only get one attempt at stopping the bar in the kick out zone. Finally, earlier today the 2K dev account also posted this new footage of Brett the Hitman Hart delivering the sharpshooter to the Honky Tonk Man, who you'll notice is wearing a different attire to last year, as the one that he's wearing is from 1994's WCW Clash of the Champions 29, which is actually an event that's seen the then stunning Steve Austin take on Hacksaw Jim Duggan in a match that Austin actually won due to outside interference from Vader. So could this mean we'll see the Clash of the Champions 29 arena in the game, and maybe even a WCW match with stunning Steve Austin early in the showcase? I guess we'll have to wait until Monday to see if Hacksaw is included in the roster, as that could give us a big clue. Anyway guys, I'll leave a link to the 2K dev account in the video description if you want to subscribe, but let me know your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned for more WWE 2K16 news, but until then, I'll catch you later.